Black Panther is out and it is looking banging. That is all I'm gonna say. Actually, there's a bit more I wanna say. Stay tuned. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum guys, welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. The first black superhero with his own film. It's a big step in the right direction. At least this time you won't be the first one to be killed off yeah? Although it's not out yet, I had to take a sneaky peek at the synopsis. There were a few tiny problems. By tiny I mean gigantic and by problems I mean blunders. Do they think we don't know the history of Africa? Do they think we will lap up anything that they give wrapped up in celebrity culture and spoon fed to us through Marvel? Huh? Do they really think we're that ignorant? <laughs> On second thoughts, yeah. Now hopefully for the vast majority of us we know that Africa as a continent has been repeatedly colonized, its natural resources taken, loans given by the IMF to corrupt dictators knowing that they won't be paid back resulting in interest accumulating that is continuing to cripple the economy till today. Perpetual civil war is being sponsored by western nations which in turn reduce the regulations in the country so more resources can be taken easily. 43 out of the 53 African nations suffer from severe hunger and low income levels. 3 million children die each year due to hunger, 30 million suffer due to HIV. The CIA in America has been known to support many dictators in Africa like Jonas Savimbi of Angola, Mobutu and Laurent of Congo, Abacha and Ulusigon of Nigeria and Samuel Doe of Liberia to name but a few. They've also supported atrocities like that in Rwanda, in Sudan, in Liberia and of course Congo. So they're showing us a very prosperous place in Africa called Bukanda. Now we know no such place exists in Africa to the dot. But there is one country that comes very similar and that's called Congo. Now Congo is one of the most poorest countries in the world. But yet yeah, here's the kicker, it's the most richest in minerals. Pretty much any mineral you can think of is not only present in Congo but it's there in abundance from the likes of gold, diamonds, uranium, cobalt, coltan, copper, tin, manganese, iron, just to name a few. Half of the world's diamond, uranium, coltan comes from Congo and also billions of dollars worth of gold also comes from there. Yet it's the biggest country in the world with no functioning government. Shh. Why? Why is this the case? Because Western countries aren't really interested in the stability of African nations because the less stability there is and the more war there is then the less regulations there are in that country and the more natural resources and minerals can be taken out with less questions being asked. Before we round off let me show you a quick timeline of Congo. It's been through a lot. Yeah, in fact from 1996 to the current time over 4 million people have died in Congo. Time magazine has called it one of the most deadliest wars in history. At 1885 there was a very famous event called the scramble for Africa. This is where all the European countries literally carved up Africa and took a chunk for themselves. Because of this Congo fell into the hands of Belgium. From 1885 to 1908 that's 23 years worth of slavery. Then till 1960 they were officially made part of Belgium. Then finally a leader emerged democratically elected Patrice Lumumba. He only survived for one year before being assassinated. Of course western powers 
supported that as well. 1961 to 1997, Mobutu, the dictator, who was backed by the CIA and supported by the CIA, led, Time magazine says, the most corrupt regimes in African history. So Bukanda in Africa could have existed were it not for the CIA and Western powers. And you know what? Black Panther is super awesome, super cool, because he's a superhero. But they're trying to show that even a superhero needs the help of the CIA. That's what we have to look forward to in Feb when the film comes out. Until next time guys, Assalamu Alaikum.